uh, using MRD status to help us decide whether or not we should just continue therapy is what everyone is talking about. It's not clear what MRD status we should be using, but most clinical trials use four color flow to uh, say whether or not somebody is MRD status negative or not. Um, in one of the trials I reported on today, specifically the Moreno trial, where they compared venetoclax and rituximab versus uh, bendamustine rituximab, in that study they did stop therapy at two at the two-year interval. Secondly, in the uh, double doublet combination therapy of abrutinib and venetoclax, um, they are all looking at MRD status, and in two of them, they are stopping um, treatment altogether if patients do achieve MRD status at different time points. And third, there is the group um, at Ohio State who's looking at triplet agents of obinutizumab, venetoclax, with abrutinib. Um, and in that, that's in the frontline setting, in that a lot of patients are achieving MRD negative status. Um, and so I think this will be very interesting in patients who don't wanna be on therapy for a long time. How long though can we keep them in this remission state? Can we call them cured like we are for FCR, treated mutated IGVH um, non-deletion 17P patients? I'm not sure, but it'll be very interesting to see the data as it comes through.